Say, kids, what time is it? It's kind of like watching TV, but, you know, in your car. 104.7 The K. Mike the Intern, Jay Stevens in the studio. Episode 166 of Dark Side of the Stream. This week was Jay's pick. Yeah. This is called uh, The Lost Century and How to Reclaim It, a uh, documentary based around some of the ideas that a ufologist, Dr. Stephen Greer, has been putting forward for a long, long time. And uh, free energy. Free energy. Free energy. Free energy. We'll start which, there. Yeah. We'll start there. Well, well, that's what it should have. That's what it should have been primarily agree. about. Yeah, I agree. If the, something like that does exist, Tesla uh, seemed like I, he was working on that. Tesla uh, seemed like he was on the brain. The Egyptians, I think, the pyramids possibly, they say possibly were possibly the reason. could have been using. Yeah. And we'll get into some of the the theories and stuff about that. But I wanted to start with the word free here. Last year, when all this stuff was going on, uh, Jay and I were just could not get our aluminum hats on fast yes, enough, we texting were, we were each ready. other we every so, day. So, Can you believe so, this? Can you believe that? We're talking stuff. about disclosure, the possibility that we were going to get UAPs, right? They were talking about possibly early this year. We still hope that it might actually happen. But when that all was happening, this documentary was released. Yeah. But did Dr. Stephen Greer give away that information for free? No, no, he charged for it. Yeah. Just like when we tried to get this last year, yeah, and we, we wanted to talk about it, we're like, wait a no, minute, no, we're not paying ten bucks, twenty four bucks, twenty dollars for this. Was it twenty? Wait a minute, yeah. Doctor Stephen Greer, I thought you wanted all yeah. this stuff out there no. for free, but, man. So wait a minute, hold leave, on, <laughs> hold on. If he's gonna sit up on stage and he's gonna knock all these corporations. For stamping and stomping on patents and trademarks and all this technology that's keeping away free energy from the world, <laughs> then why wouldn't you give away that information for free, Dr. Stephen Greer? Uh, yeah, I'll wait. He's a contra- Because uh, you're a capitalist, just like them, just like everyone else trying to make money. No, we don't Move need, on. We don't need another dark stream where Mike's heated. But still, like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the thing. That's the, the problem, whole point of all this. The stuff. problem I have with Dr. Greer is. He says some really great stuff, right? And then he'll say some stuff that's kind of outlandish. And you go, okay. Either he's telling the truth, he's not telling the truth, or he's totally crazy. But the fact that he is does deal with high-level government people and he's like an advisor on those, that makes me think that he's not crazy uh, and that he's maybe not lying so so, so uh, I, some of his stuff is a little bit out you remember there. what i said to you when this all started last year i said stuff that's not the word i used stuff yeah. floats yeah, yeah. and what the problem with happening with all this disclosure stuff is now you're seeing all these things that are you know they've been here for a million years or they communicate to me from another dimension well, and they all also these, put stuff to muddy the waters that out also there could be true but in that same sentence all that stuff starts to float to the top in that the, dr stephen greer is a very good example of how this thing is in a bigger picture in my opinion and, and yeah, you're right. There are some ideas out there. They're not his ideas. And these are ideas that right. have been floating around for a long, long time. Tesla, the Egyptians, yeah, yeah. all that stuff. He's Pyramids. gravitated to them because they all help perpetuate his idea and his story, which again goes back to, you know, he'll say certain things and have proof for certain things, which right. we'll get into. And then you're like, whoa, that's crazy. And then but he'll then say the same something name, crazy. Like I'm getting emails yeah. from, do- from Dr. Kabula from the dimension. Right. And then it's he like, starts wait, talking wait about minute. wacky stuff. It's like, dude. Hold on, dude. Hold on. You had me. But when you start losing the guys that are actually on your team, you're like, man, come on, yeah, dude. Yeah, you're making, you're making even the crazy dudes It's like going out with a buddy and who you like to go out and party with. But then <laughs> yeah. he gets too crazy. You're like, bro, yeah, I'm down for getting crazy, but I'm like not this, doing that. It's like this line. That's the last time I'm inviting you out with me, man. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll talk into, uh, we'll talk about some of the theories and stuff next dark side of the stream on 104.7, the cave 104.7, the cave, Mike, the intern, Jay Stevens back in the studio. This is dark side of the stream episode 166. Jay's pick this week, the lost century and how to reclaim well, it. Let me, and we, I think we forgot, he failed to mention that we wanted to do this a long time ago, but it cost money to buy it. Mm-hmm. I found it for free, and that's why I was like, Mike, before they take it <laughs> down, take it down watch, watch it. this and let's do it's it. It's still up, by the way. It's on YouTube for free. Um, but, yeah, like I said, too, though, to counteract what, you know, Stephen Greer has been just perpetuating, like, this information should be free for everyone, clean energy, yeah. all that stuff. Well, yeah, dude, I don't, I'm not denying that, but how the hell can you expect the inventor who's worked his life on this stuff that could literally change the world and wants to benefit from it, and you 
you're like, you shouldn't do that. That's wrong. Right. But hey, charge him. Let me charge you now, for the movie the, the I made. One, the one Please. thing I do have, um, the one thing that kind of doesn't raise a flag, but just makes me question is if, you know, they, they think the pyramids were used to send out free electricity, this and that. And they, and they te know Tesla was working on free uh, electricity through the air and this and that. I would feel that somebody like Elon Musk with his team of scientists would be able to continue on that research and figure it out. Not so, just him, but there are a lot of different in, in the private sector. For example, the companies that have or gotten patents to some of the stuff that Greer is talking about. Because there was suspicious stuff with the Tesla thing with the government seizing all this stuff. Yeah, and that was pulling some shady, it out. There's very some, shady the, stuff the, Some of his work, there are some of the guys that he discusses in this documentary that have either discovered or come upon uh, Fusion, for example, is that guy Eugene uh, yeah. Mal Malov. And they he, won't he, give them patents. He supposedly and figured take, it out yeah. and then was like basically beat to death while he was cleaning his parents very home weird stuff. Yeah, one very of the weird guys stuff. that came out with the the water engine yeah he was poisoned at a yep. crackle barrel yeah i mean like but yeah. again they they also say that he died and if you that like you're like oh my god they poisoned they're trying to squash it but if you look the official investigation said he died of a cerebral aneurysm so Again, and, yeah, and one of the investors well, that he worked waters. with said, I don't know where the hell this poisoning thing came through. I actually financially supported this guy for years. I was a friend of his. I don't well, know. And also, if you're playing around with sending energy through the air, I, I would assume it could jack your head up. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, that, it could be in all the weird stuff. Weird stuff. And there, there, is a, there was a guy on there that supposedly has this wireless energy magnetic thing that he's created that he's got it. And he said that he spent time in prison. They said the government got a hold of them and if put anybody them in and ever said, if makes any makes kind of thing, about this, yeah. after you. Very, so, know, I, you know, there's a lot of there's. A, and again, it might not be the government. Private corporations have enough power to do this stuff on their own, too. Yeah. And to dress up in a guy in a black suit and walk in with a badge, if you're just some nerdy and science fit, you know, science, science inventor dude, yeah. dude sitting behind a desk yeah. all the time, how are, how are you gonna? How are you gonna see? They're already going after Jay. Yep, that's it. Whatever they came, they're coming to get me. Is, he's been working on, for, but yeah, for getting the, for finding this for free on YouTube. Yeah, how do I cloak out of this room? How do I cloak <laughs> out of this bedroom immediately? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> that's the kind of free energy Jay's working on. Um, but yeah, it, it, you know, it, like I said, there, there are all these things that, you know, the pyramids and Tesla and all these things that have been worked on and they go back centuries. Yeah. Some of these things and these inventions are like, Pat, you're getting stuff from the department of energy that are from like 1984 yeah, and we're yeah. talking 40 years now. Well, like, like I said, those pyramids, they're, some are saying that they were used to send electricity wireless way back, way, way, way before we got hit by meteorites and we had to start over again yeah. and stuff so yeah or floods or whatever yeah, yeah. or maybe From the, the aliens yeah. hit reset we don't know but we'll talk more about some of these crazy theories in the lost century dark side of the stream continues next on 104.7 the cave mike the intern jay stevens back in the studio dark side of the stream episode 166 man it's a lot of episodes. i don't know we've done this for a long time um a couple of years now it's uh the lost century and how to reclaim it so how did these weird you know, fusion, wireless technology, all this stuff come into play with UFOs. Well, basically, Greer is making the claim that these extraterrestrials have been visiting us for thousands of years. They're actively on our planet. They've got bases all over the world. I think he's claimed like hundreds, if not thousands, all over the world underground that we know about, some that have been buried. But essentially, the idea that they've been coming here the government and private corporations have seized these crafts, reverse engineered them, discovered um, that they are able to not only work with fusion, but also create what they call a plasma shield. And what that means is if you do figure out how to travel faster than the speed of light, anything inside is going to be very, very there, there, the the potential to be killed in, mo yeah. in something moving that fast or stopping that quick as they reportedly are able to do would be an issue. Now, if you actually create some sort of plasma shield around that, the stuff inside isn't affected by what's happening outside. Is if I got the signs of how they are explaining it. Correctly. Yeah, it's very you know very like the glow stuff. of a UFO is what you see is what they say is this plasma, plasma shield, shield right. so that everything it can move in this world faster instantaneous but inside of it it doesn't move work to yeah, other it places, doesn't work right. it's not in the same kind of laws of physics yeah, that laws we of are. physics don't 
work that way. But essentially, that's what we're dealing with. And that's what Stephen Greer has been fighting to get out for years and years and years. God love him. He's a doctor. And I mean, he had his own practice and at a certain point just said, Death screw it. Th- chase all this, I believe you know? in this so much now. Well, much like the guy from Blink-182. And then look, all that stuff that he was talking about, it's all what the government's talking about now. So I don't know. We all thought he was crazy all those years. And now we're like, well, maybe he wasn't so crazy. I think ultimately what I come back to is that with what I've said since day one, and this has all started since last year, which was, you know, I'm just going to take as much information as I possibly can and try and digest what I can and understand what I can, but also take it all with a giant grain of salt yeah, yeah. because, because they all, be there also are guys putting out misinformation out there too. Also that too. Muddy to, the waters. Yeah, to muddy the waters for the um, you know, government. They say so that some very... of these guys that have been, you know, putting all this stuff out to plant. Dr. Stephen Greer could be a plant. Could be a plant too, yeah. You, so, you know, it's all... I don't know. Okay, maybe well, 2024 will be the year well, to fingers see crossed, what's baby. going on. But I, I'm I'm not as excited as I was uh, this time last no? year. No? Well, I guess in the spring. No, because you wait and wait and wait, and eventually you're just kind of like, okay... You've got a couple I gotta of those, go to work and pay my a bills. A couple of those congressmen are really pushing it, so I, I appreciate their their work. But but man, the interesting man, thing is, they just women. keep coming back to stopping it and stomping People it get out. Stopped, yeah. And so stopped. therein lies they're, why. They're well, I think Somebody's it's stopping it. I, again. I think it's about money. I think that's yeah. what this is all about. Who can control the technology? Who can make yeah. the most money from it? But also, like I said, and we talked about this before, if if their belief is that, well, man, the the, the public can't handle it because from a religion standpoint, well, no, no, no. It ain't about oh, the existence yeah. of God. It's the fact that if this is true and the governments have suppressed this knowledge that we all work our butts for to pay our utilities for yeah. our cars We're or whatever, hosed. what have we been doing for, for the last 40 plus yeah. years? What are we doing this for? That's going to be a lot bigger of a problem, I, I think. think so. We'll see what happens. And Either way, seem, we'll and just... it seems like the government has a pretty uh, bad track record, <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's not like, <laughs> so it's not yeah, like they're this, oh, they wouldn't do anything like been, that. <laughs> we've been getting gaslighted by them since day one. Yeah, we're getting um, gaslighted still daily. We still are, um, and every country in the world uh, does it. Uh, we'll uh, come back with our reviews of this documentary next. Dark Side of the Stream on one hundred four point seven The Cave. Mike, the intern, Jay Stevens, back in the studio one more time. Sands aluminum foil hats to discuss. The lost century and how to reclaim it. How many uh, tin foil hats? Uh, did you I'm get just this going. One? I'll go two and a half, three. You know, it was. I wanted it to be better, but you know, like I said, some of it was cool information, and some of it was just out there. And you know, I've I've seen a lot of that stuff. I've watched better YouTube made things by people than this. And they, you know. <laughs> again i i think greer likes to latch on yeah. to some theories hold on put some other theories that are weird but again stuff floats and just uh keep that in mind yeah too but the guy I, is up there with government people though hanging out and doing these you know anyone so it's like, but it's that's the thing weird, like man. a lot of those even some of even your representatives in congress yeah. they love to talk that's why they are who they are yeah, that's where true, they got true, to where they true. are and it don't matter if it's mike the intern jay stevens or a doctor they'll they'll take the time to talk to them because yeah. that's what they do for a living that's what we do so i could say oh i got a lot of connections yeah. in this city yeah. well it's just because i know a lot of people yeah. and i'm yeah. a, i try to meet make friends that's what i do but I, I I mean, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you're right. it just depends on how you paint it. You could say, I know every girl in Springfield. Well, that might be true. But again, you know what I mean? It's all yeah, perspective and it's all how it's what do delivered. you rate this thing too. Yeah. I mean, again, it's not like it, there wasn't yeah, one thing as, I was like, I had high oh my hopes. God. I, I had high hopes and it wasn't, didn't meet my expectations. That's I'll tell you one thing. I'm glad I didn't pay for it. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. We won so, today. Yeah, today we won. We won. Be power to the people. Speaking of wins, uh, next next uh, week's pick is my pick, and this is one I'm stealing from Jay. It's a documentary series on HBO. It's a very very strange story. It's called Love Has Won: The Cult of Mother God. I watched it and I texted Mike over the holiday uh, break. I said, "Bro." We've seen some crazy documentaries. This one might top the list. We'll see. This, and if you've watched some like abducted in plain sight and gone, that's crazy. This one's this one might top that one. And that's saying a lot because uh, yeah, there were some. This really one crazy is stuff. pretty wild, and the fact that it just happened a year or two ago is crazy. Still kind of happening too. It's still no, they're yeah, still yeah, doing it. I mean, it. they're still oh gosh, they're yeah. still in it. All right, some, watch it. Either Love way, has uh, one on HBO Love has Max. One HBO Max. Uh, as always, watch us do this live. Uh, 9 a.m. Um, on Facebook or YouTube. You can listen to it on my show, 9 a.m. or Jay's show at 6 p.m. or as a podcast on our free 104.7 The Cave app. 
I'm Mike, the intern. Jay That's Stevens. the talent. Jay Stevens reminding you, we watch movies, so, so you, you don't, don't have, have to. to. It starts no, no. out of the stream on 104.7 The Cave.